It gets quite annoying. Please go away. <laughs> oh, literally, since it's been just light, the lights were coming in, I had to shut the curtain because it was disturbingly white light and I like my warm lights. I'm just like, what are you doing? It's been running for like the last hour and a half. Anyway, I'm going on a walk now. Bye bye. So after a long rainy day of sitting in the van and editing some videos and contemplating what to do for the day, whether to move or not, I decided to stay at Mam Tour and cook these sweet potato and kale doses I had a recipe for, which you can see, and just gave that a go really. So you basically just mixed some spices together, cooked some sweet potato and kale, mixed that all together and then made a little batter for the doses and put that in a frying pan but it took me a while to get the right one so it took me a couple of attempts so this is attempt number one and what is some kind of batter <laughs> but I'll eat it anyway and hopefully this one will be doing better because it's a bit thinner so is it any good? nice nice spices mm. yeah the batter's alright definitely not quite right on this one so cook it for two to three minutes that one was cooking for ten so definitely something not quite right there but then this interesting sounding van went past and I stuck my head out the door and it was a 2.3 Luton Iveco painted grey and uh, here's what happened nice van Nice van too. I was thinking the same. Okay, so I um I had an interesting van, so I stuck my head out the the door, and then the guy shouted, "Ah, oh, nice van!" And I was like, "Ah, oh, I was thinking the same." It was an Aveco Luton, um, so that was nice. And then yeah, we just had a chat for like uh, I don't know, forty minutes or something. Um, him, his girlfriend or something, and 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 a child. So that that was cool. But um, yeah, here's the second one, because <laughs> I was talking to them, it, this one got a bit too dry, so now it's now it's done the opposite. <laughs> we'll get the next one right. Tomorrow when I have some for lunch, um, I'll, I'll make the batter again. Well, no, I've got some batter. Rather than making them now, I'll make them tomorrow and then they'll be nice and fresh. Um, so yeah, but let's eat this and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Overnight oats. And a pot of tea. Good morning everyone. Yep, it's early. I think it's just gone six. Oh no, it's half six. Right, I'm gonna eat this, enjoy this, and then I'll be off by about half nine. Go to the shops. Let's go into Audi in Buxton and then Morrison's and then I'm stocked up on food for the next two weeks again. It's been two weeks mad, flown by. Time flies, don't everyone feels that at the moment. It's literally just like, we're in October. Anyway, we'll get away from that fat now. Rose is kind of warmed up. Should be enough. Um, and let's head off. Oh, the camera batch is down again. Yeah, let's head off and then we'll go to Riches after. So 
first time um, going up when it's pass. Uh, GoPro still hasn't shown any life yet, so sorry about that. I've got no hope in third gear even down here. <laughs> right, back down second. We'll just go up at 20 mile an hour. Not doing very well even here. Foot flat to the floor. And I'm losing 20. Or... <laughs> Put a bit too much in there, didn't I? I think it's safe to say this is the best one. Or even the second one of yesterday's was the best, actually. Or day before, even now, I've lost track of the days. I'm here at Beyond the Van, Mr. LDV. So, good evening, everyone. Just had a shower, in case you can't tell. Yeah, the microphone on this. Um, camera is getting worse so I hope there's no interference at the moment the little monitor is crap at previewing you can never tell if there's any distortion yeah but anyway yeah, I just had a lovely warm shower because the Sun came out today um, I got like 650 watts coming in and I took with the panels um, I also helped Rich take the front of his van off he said he was gonna film it and I was like no chance and I asked him have you been filming it then? And he's like, no. I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. And then we just talked about doing things and filming them. And it's just so hard. Unless you're really dedicated to it, it's just impossible. You've got to be really dedicated to the video as well as the build. And if you're just like us and you just want to crack on and do it. And like, he wants to get in it as soon as possible because he doesn't want to live in little vans for the whole of the winter again. Um... He wants to be able to stand up again, you know. Uh, I don't blame him. Because <laughs> I wanted to be in mine. Oh, I mean, I was in mine as soon as it was there. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And when I had seven days to get this van ready, back in January, uh, before I started work, um, before I had a week's work, basically, 
um, between New Year's when I'd just done the maiden voyage and it was like insulated and there was a kitchen frame and a burner. I had to get it as livable as possible, including all the electrics, the wire and the lights, the sofa, the floor, everything needed doing. The floor wasn't even insulated, everything. And then I needed to work out what I needed and what I didn't because I wasn't coming back to my dad's for like a month and a bit. And I had seven days to do it and not much got filmed at all. Uh, and that's just what happens when you're just concentrating on it because filming takes so long, as I'm sure many people say. And to people that do film it and put an effort in, like Camper Vibe is always doing an effort on build videos. To be able to film and do a good job of it, rather than just put a time lapse up, and do a good job on the build itself, it just takes forever. If you're on time limit as well, you can't do you can't do film, good quality build, and time limit. It's two of the three. Pick two of each of the, those three, and you'll have your outcome. But yeah, and uh, his chassis cab. Oh. The van is looking good, but I won't spoil it, I think, because I don't even know if he'll post it. He's got Instagram off his phone. <laughs> but yeah, man, that van is looking good. Anyway, that's enough about that. I'm going to go to bed because it's half eight and I want to watch uh, an episode or two of what I'm watching at the moment. Yeah, there's nothing else left to tell you. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so I hope the audio is alright, because it's kind of all over the place, but um, it's an absolutely lovely morning, the sun is super warm now I'm back down south a bit, <laughs> uh, it's so much noticeable, I haven't had the burner on the last two days while I've been here, um, at Rich's, so yeah, um, that's what I was going to say. Uh, I've got a couple of jobs to do on mine. I want to paint the last couple of bits of red around the inner cab doors because I thought I ran out of paint, but I lent it to my mum and she gave it me back. And I was like, oh, that's all my paint is. So yeah, I'm going to get the brush out and just just round the windows because I went round with the roller and then I was like, I'll touch it out with the brush later. Never did. So and then I've also got to still wire my pump into a switch because it's just on two spade connectors at the moment and also the immersion onto a switch so that if forever the tank is not empty which is quite a lot I mean sorry it is empty which is quite a lot because I don't always bother to fill it if I don't need a shower or don't really need hot water because the burner's on and it's just easy to put the kettle on but if I'm having a shower I'll fill it up um, but otherwise I don't want like accidentally while I'm driving the immersions to come on so yeah I need to put it on an isolate so yeah they're the few jobs to do uh, this morning and then see if Rich needs help with anything else but I might come back at the end of the month I think I said because I've got a week or two free so that would be nice and see how he's getting on if he's got the box on by then that would be nice but uh, yeah I'm going to get on with my couple of jobs this morning and uh, you guys can come along for the ride So my floor is uh, quite wet, yeah, but I can't really do anything about that now, <coughs> before Scotland, so yeah, this paint has always dried up because uh, I leave it so long between using it. That closed cell foam didn't do a good job because it eventually got behind it where it just wasn't sealed at the end and then has gone under it and then has got trapped under it which has, well, not ended particularly well. There's rust in places, in quite a few places. Nothing bad, just surface rust now, but it's gonna have to stay there for this winter and it'll get a bit worse, but come the summer, Rich in his van, like ages ago, he put that uh, roof flashing that people use for sound deadening, I've used it before. They put, he put that in the, in the, on the cab floor and that when you use a heat gun it like bonds to it because it's bitumen and 
that's it you will know what getting under there even if it goes up to the edge it won't get under so as long as you do that and really press them down use a roller to squeeze them out um, yeah that way no water's going to get under so what I'm going to have to do next year is I'm going to buy Furtan which I never did it's the best rust converter I have seen all of the white ones that make it go blue and then black I don't trust them if you put them on a bit too thick you can just peel the coating off and it's rust underneath and it's not converted it it's just put a layer on top just like paint I mean anyone's feel free to prove me wrong but I'm not going to use the stuff because I don't trust it anymore and I used it on the cab floor that just shows and it's coming back uh, it's the one place I used it and it's the one place it's coming back I'm not saying it's because of that I'm saying it's because of the matting and water getting trapped under it but I'm saying it's clearly not killed it and got rid of it forever it's not done what it says on the tin so I'm not impressed with that so I'm going um, down the route of fur tan which I've seen results from and you can put a blade to it and scratch off the fur tan coating and there's still black under it whereas I've seen half of these you scratch it off sometimes if you apply it thinly enough and if it's good enough rust but if it's really bad rust it doesn't do anything then I'm going to put this bitumen paint down uh, sorry not paint bitumen um, roof flashing and heat gun it all down by the big strip probably won't do it everywhere but just the main floor because I want to again deaden the sound and then I think I'm going to carpet the whole floor with black carpet and then put the checker plate mat back down and hopefully oh and also before this winter in, in order to try and stop this getting worse um, I'm going to try and make up some vents when I'm at my dad's uh, that cover the vents some covers that cover the vents more like so that rainwater can't get in um, it'll come up in a future video I finally did it a job I've been putting off for weeks or months ta-da now you can just turn them on if you need them turn the head torches on turn the camera battery charger on flick them off close it away job done been meant to do that for ages because they've just been banging around I got rid of these because I've always got things plugged in and the light doesn't get annoying because it's in a drawer so I thought these are more just going to get in the way hanging off if you don't know what they are they're the um, you know the covers for them so didn't need them probably throw them in the bin uh, yeah if anyone wants any let me know yeah but that's so much nicer now um, just to be able to and eventually so this is a 24 volt socket uh, when I get a new laptop eventually, which is on the list for, we're in a way down the priorities, but eventually when I get one, it's going to be a, a USB-C MacBook, um, and I've got a charger uh, that goes 12 volt to USB and does up to 100 watts, so it literally do anything, and it does 12 and 24 input, so that's what I've saved that 24, and that 24 volt socket for, but I've never used them yet, because my existing 12 volt laptop charger that's just there, only is 12 volt so that's the confusions behind it not that anyone actually cares um, it's been a pretty chill day today made some bread um, and what else did I do I painted the cab as you saw and found damp under the mat painted it in areas um, oh and finally did my hot water switch which I didn't film again because it's just dead boring but if I flick that off that's off and when you turn it on the screen comes back on uh, and that's my pump there, that one. And then the one next to it um, doesn't do anything, nor does the other one. But I'm going to make one for the underfloor heating and one... I haven't got a switch for the mushroom vent and light in shower. So rather than trying to put one and put wire in everywhere, I'm just going to put it in this cupboard because <laughs> the wire's coming from there, going through this cupboard and then going up. So. I need, it needs to go past here anyway, so it just makes sense. So I'm going to make that back one, um, the shower light and fan, they'll come on together. Can't think of anything else to say other than thank you all for your support, and I'll catch you next week. And I don't know what's going to happen next week, so you'll just have to see. <laughs> see you later.